All right, hello, Star Two, and welcome back to Let's Play this game. Okay, so we uh, just got done with one of the side quests, and now we have another one for Darlena. My lord, might I have a moment of your time? I would I beg of you a service. Certainly. What is it? It's a long story. But before we get to that, would I be right in thinking Lady Shula told you about the witch from the north? Yes. She said that your ancestors found her here, and that it was she who taught them the spell to stop time. She was like Walius, you know. A dominant. The Warden of Ice. My great-grandmother suspected as much. She cared for the poor woman when the end was near. And it was she whose duty became to attend her grave. A duty that was passed down to me. I see. And... The service you would beg of me? Well, until recently, the path to the grave had long been blocked by a fallen tree. But when our woodsmen finally found time to move it, we quickly realized it might have been better had they not. On trying to clear the rest of the path, you see, we discovered that a flock of bloodthirsty beasts had claimed the cliffs beyond. None of us was a match for them. But you, my lord have proven your strength many times over. Would you drive them away for us? Of course. Of course. I'll see the path is made safe. Thank you, my lord. The grave is in a place called Witch Drop. To reach it, one must turn left at the Winged Wains, then follow the path around to the right, deep into the forest. Why so far from Haven? It was where she lived. When our ancestors first came to Mysidia, they found her there, in an old abandoned village. And it was her heartfelt wish to return there in death. So when she passed away, my great-grandmother had a stone erected for her on the cliffs overlooking the place she once called home. How thoughtful. Well then, no time like the present. Left of the ships, then round to the right, you said. Just so. Thank you once again, my lord. I will join you at the grave anon. All right. And then I dreamed. I saw How many side? So there are three more side quests after this one. So there's a total of five side quests after uh, this. It is good to have a back. Okey dokey. My friend. I have news! Here! Mister! Over here! Where was the cane you saw February again? Ready, go! <laughs> We gotta go this way. Then we come down here and then we take another right into the forest. This should be the path to Witch Drop. Hungry Toggle. Calm down, Joshua. Jeez. Yeah. 
Oh, it's one of these mother attackers. Alright. I haven't seen one of these guys in a long time. Looks like that's the last of them. Now, where's the grave? Over that way. Seven hundred and fifty nine. My lord, thank you for making the path safe again. Ize. Was that her name? Yes. Hardly the most fitting tribute for a dominant, is it? A rough-hewn stone with naught but a given name engraved on it. But my ancestors had only been here a matter of weeks when she passed. Every day was a struggle to survive. They had neither the time nor the energy to devote to a more elaborate memorial. Yet they spared what they could to grant her wish, that even in death she might continue to watch over her home. She lived down there then, in the ruins. That's right. They were once the living quarters for those who served up in the temple. When the Northern Thanes sent her here to weave her spell, this was where she and her retinue stayed. There were priests, handmaidens, and a knight sworn to shield her from harm. Of course, they were all gone by the time my ancestors arrived, fled or dead in the Western Wars. All except his A, who remained till the end, alone. Indeed. At least, that is the story as it's been handed down in Haven. But there is an epilogue to the tale. One known only to Lady Shula and myself. Some years after Issei's passing, you see, my grandmother came here to tend the grave and found a stranger kneeling before it. A knight, dressed head to toe in plate. She asked of him who he was and whence he had come, but received no answer. The only words he spoke were, Tell me true, whose grave is this? 
So she told him of how her people had met and cared for Issei, and how she had died. His only reaction was to stare up at the air of hours in silence. Then he left, never to be seen again. You said he was wearing plate. Was it black and gold? Do you know something of him? When we went up to the Air of Hours to unravel the spell, we were set upon by a shade in the shape of a knight in full plate. It manifested in front of the Vair, and in its ether, I felt Shiva, the witch. You think this may have been the same man my great-grandmother met? He says night. I don't know. Maybe. All I can say for sure is it was intent on protecting her creation. Or perhaps her spirit. What remained of her ether, preserved in the Vair. Perhaps his spirit too became enraveled in her spell. Frozen in an eternal vigil. Till we ended it. If the shade you fought was Issei's knight, then ending it was the greatest gift you could have given him. Now he can return to the sea, to be with his lady once more. And if his spirit should ever return here to visit her grave, I shall ask his name, that I might carve it in the stone next to hers. That they might be together. Once and for all. Yeah, baby. Using crafting. Oh, my. Well, I can just come back up here. Yep. It still wants me to make for Origin Ultima still being bad. Of course, Ultima still being bad. Alright, your turn. Hey. You again. No, it has to be him. What has to be who? If you, uh, don't mind my asking. It's not your asking, I mind. It's my explaining. But I don't see any other way around it. You see, when a baby is born here, we hold a ceremony to welcome them. The rite of immersion, we call it. But I don't know whether Wallius was ever afforded that courtesy. What is abundantly clear, though, is that my ancestors never welcomed him as one of us. And I want to change that. The problem is, the ceremony requires three ministrators. The baby's parents and a witness. As tributary, the role of witness would normally fall to me. But being Wallace's closest living relative, I must play the role of mother. So you want me to serve as witness in your stead? That's right. A witness must be a trusty guardian, ready to steer the child through the stormy waters of life and on to tranquility. Which is why I thought of you. Well, for 10,000 gil, I can't really complain about that. It would be my honor. Thank you, Clive. So... If you will serve as mother and I as witness, who will take on the father's role? I have a younger brother. He should be making ready for the rite as we speak, though whether he is or not. <sighs> Let me introduce you. Please do. If he's anything like his sister, I'm sure we'll get on famously. I'll bid him come to the Witten Hall. Will you wait for us there? Gladly. Right. 
All right, side quest three out of five. Still can't do anything there. Seven hundred and fifty nine. We still can't like do anything yet. Clive, my brother. If it isn't my old mate, Sid! You? So you do remember me, even stripped of my cunning disguise? I'm touched. You two know each other. My friends and I crossed paths with your brother on our hunt for the Dusk Crystals, during which we saved his life. Three times, was it? Three? Four? Who's counting? All I know is when Shula mentioned she'd called in Sid the Outlaw to help young Walias, I could be sure that the little rascal was in safe hands. I mean, having seen you in action back at the tower, I know exactly what you're capable of. So the mercenary you met in the Sage Spire, that was Clive. And he saved your life. That's a rather different story from the one you told me. And a far likelier one at that. It would appear my family owe you twice over. Whether they admit it or not. Honestly, Fammy, would it kill you to tell the truth once in a while? What? I said sorry, didn't I? How about we save the, uh, recriminations until after the ceremony, eh? Speaking of which... What does this ceremony involve, exactly? It's simple, really. We each say a short prayer and anoint the child's head with holy water. Nothing too onerous, then? Not about the rite itself, no. But it does call for some preparation. One of the witnesses' responsibilities is to collect the holy water, you see. Three files for the three ministrators, each taken from a particular place. Don't worry, though. It's not as if you have to go alone. I can show you the way. I'd appreciate that. Famiel, you stay here and ready the Witten Hall. Leave it to me. If there's anything Jill and I can do to assist you... We'd be glad to help. Thank you both. Well, I can tell you one thing, if I were to review this game, it would be, you, with cutscenes so long as you can whack right, off then. twice and Let's still have enough time to take we? a shower and the cutscene will still not be water over. That we must collect. The water of the mountain, of the river, and of the Ten sea. out of ten. We take the water of the mountain from the spring atop Maiden's March. The water of the river from the course that flows through the ruins of River's Meat. And the water of the sea from the shallows of Tailwind Bay. Here are the files we'll be using in the ceremony. I'm ready to leave whenever you are. Let me guess. Uh, sure, whatever. So there's some. Oh fuck! It's that place again. We might as well get him over with again. I know exactly where that is, and that's that stupid ass tiger boss that we have to fight again. I know where it is. I know exactly what they're talking about. I'm not happy. Faster. Whatever game.
That motherfucker better not be back. Probably is. Someone's in trouble. Come on. Motherfucker, I have to fight you again. Yep. I have to fight you again. This guy sucks. He isn't the hardest boss, but he's one of the more annoying what bosses. Else? Nobody's coming to help. We're here to help. He has this laser attack that's like really, really, really hard to uh to dodge. I hate it. That too, by the way. He's a level 53 enemy as well, from Tork Tarama. takes care of them. Okay, he's not he's he's not so bad with the uh, with the water ability. But the problem is it's really hard to like it's really hard to get close to him without taking some damage, so yeah. Beautiful. That wasn't as bad as I thought with with the with the water ability. Is anyone hurt? Oh, Sid! Thank all the clouds in the heavens you came. You saved us. Again! Would you two care to explain what you're doing up here? The chief sent us to fetch incense for the ceremony. So the Witten Hall smells nice for the little Ben. <clears throat> you mean <laughs> to tell me you braved this den of deadly beasts for some tree sap? You don't have to do everything he says, you know. Or if you must, at least have the good sense to ask one of our hunters to accompany you. We're sorry. It's fine. Just go back to the village before you get yourselves into any more trouble. 
Right you are. Oh, and uh, thanks and that. Remind me to give my brother a cuff round the ear when we get back. All right, I'm gonna end this part. Right then. Let's collect this water, shall we? Oh yeah, we should probably do that. Yeah, because I'm starting to get the, the delay. This is why we were supposed to come here, as for our side quests. Alright. The rain that falls on the mountain emerges here, in these springs. The source of the river. The source of life. Precisely. Alright, I'll see you guys for the next part. Not to spill it. <laughs>